All right, I think I have us recording. All right, so we're just gonna get us started in a light downward facing dog. If you're not a fan of down dog, feel free to maybe take a child's pose or some cat cows. But I just, I want you to come into a place that, you know, feels good to you. And then just let your body move in this position a little bit. So if you, I call this dance my dog. So just rocking my hips side to side, or like I said, you can be down on your knees and you can rock your hips here. You can take a cat cow or maybe just moving back and forth from kind of child's pose to a light plank. Just a moment, just to kind of oh, shake it out a little bit. And then from here, we'll move into our lunge stretch. So if you'd like to come down to your knees and we'll take that left leg forward. So left leg will come forward and then hinging. So I usually like to lift my back right knee and then kind of replace it down. You can always bring a pillow under it as well or rolling up your yoga mat. You want your front knee over your ankle. So I don't want to be here. It's a great Achilles tendon stretch, but it can be kind of tough on the ankle or on the knee. So right here, right? really feeling that stretch into that hip flexor. And then if all is feeling good, and you want to maybe bring your arms up to rest on that left quad, you could welcome Valerie, Alyssa, Amy, Liz, Lorraine, Katie, Suzanne, Lori, Casey. Take it, everyone coming in. We still got a couple of people. Welcome, Ash. Nice work here. And then if you want a little bit deeper stretch, you can bring that right arm up. You could bring both arms up as well. So kind of whatever. I kind of like to leave one arm down for some support. Think about lifting the heart. And take a couple of breaths here. So if this doesn't feel good on the knee, that knee could always be lifted. We could be here. I keep my hands on the ground just because that way it'll be a stretch and not so much work. Oh. And then we'll bring that down. Gently roll over that back knee, flexing the front left foot. Make some adjustments, flex the foot. Think about kind of pressing the hamstring down, pulling the chin towards your toes. So getting some length in the back. Welcome, Terry. You know, to get both Terry's in the house, maybe. Nice, right there. And then staying here if you like, or if you'd like to start to slide this left leg forward, you know, moving into any version of these splits, which is going to stretch the hip flexor and the hamstring, or just staying right where you were. Deep stretch through the legs. Welcome, Christina. Nice. One more breath. And then if you're kind of out in the splits, kind of push yourself up. We'll start to slide that leg in. And then we'll step back one more time before we come into the other side. You know, maybe in an all four position, taking some shakes, or maybe in down dog. Oh, again, just kind of moving, moving that around. And then we'll bring the knees down. And this time the right leg will come forward. You're lifting that back knee to slide it into place. It's really taking your time here. We've got a, at least a minute kind of in these poses. So plenty of time. And if you feel okay, bring the hands up to the quads. Just pausing in each kind of phase to make sure it feels okay before jumping onto the next phase if this is good. Maybe raising one arm, maybe both if you like that. Again, I kind of like one hand down when I'm working the stretch. Bringing your awareness into that left hip flexor region. Lengthening, lifting. Nice. And then releasing those hands down, gently rock that back into that hamstring stretch. Pressing that hamstring down, lengthening through the torso. 
So just a couple of announcements. It's nice and easy to make announcements in a stretch class. Next week, it's party week here at VFIT, turning five. So we're opening the studios all week, Tuesday to Saturday, free for all. So invite your friends. We've got not necessarily added classes on the schedule, but some of our classes have more of a theme to them around that five. And then we'll end in our party next Saturday. So not this week, but next, but share away. And then you will be seeing it should, the first time you'll probably see it in print is on Sunday. Steph G and I are rolling out Mindful Moments number five coming in November. So you'll see that in the newsletter on Sunday and you'll see us starting to pop into Facebook more and telling you all about that. So if you've done it before, or maybe you've never done it, and you're like, man, I miss it every time, join us for Mindful Moments. If all feels good here, maybe slide towards the splits a little, just to take that stretch a little deeper. I think those are the main upcoming things. And then lifting ourselves up, sliding out of that. Take our knees out wide, big toes together. We can all sit back into a child's pose here. Uh, reach through the fingers. Think about lowering the chest and the armpits down towards the ground. Maybe get a little shifting. I like to rock my torso side to side a little so I can just get this little movement in the shoulder joint, letting all of the fascia and the tissue there in the shoulder joint just massage into each other. And then either staying here in child's pose, if this feels great to you, or maybe rising, pulling the knees underneath you, lifting the glutes, sliding out into that little deeper puppy pose. It's not that one is better than the other. They're similar, but just, you know, depending on how your body's feeling in different places today, you may prefer one over the other. Again, I like to move a little bit, just a little. I was in a training all morning, so a lot of sitting for four hours. So it feels good to stretch and add a tiny bit of movement to that. And then maybe taking your toes, if you're, if, especially if you're in puppy pose, maybe curl your toes under. And then we'll start to walk the hands in so if you haven't curled the toes under yet, curling the toes under now. And then starting to set our glutes back towards our heels. Just testing that out. Maybe hands down the floor, maybe hands come up to the quads for our thunderbolt pose or like to affectionately call it angry toe pose. And then maybe kind of, you know, again, wiggling around on your toes, find that place where you're like, oh, that's, yeah, I feel it, but that's, the just right place for me to be. Oh, a few breaths there. Feeling that stretch. And then from here, let your fingers come down to the ground, just kind of lightly. We're just gonna lift the knees up, rock right back towards the heels. Now, as we rock back towards the heels, you start to feel that pull in your shin area. If this being in such a deep squat does not feel good for you, you can always bring this up to a stand and kind of do one leg at a time. So I'm going to press down through my heel and actually let my knee come in front of my toes. Now feel that stretch come down the shin. So feel free to do one side. I'll tell you when to switch here in just a sec. If you're okay on both, you can stay there. If you did choose to do one side, just switch that out, get on the other side. If you've been doing both and you're like, I've been here long enough, feel free to move. We'll meet you in just a second. And then from here, we'll let 
the shins come down, place the tops of the feet on the ground, roll up, getting a little bit deeper chest stretch for bringing the hands onto the low back. I like to just kind of take my thumbs, wrap my fingers around the waist, press the hips, and then pull those shoulder blades down and back. So kind of like the circle. Nice. And then keep the chin tucked, right? We're, our head is heavy, so we don't want to let that just hang and compress the cervical spine. And so the chin stays tucked. And then if anybody wanted a deeper stretch, you can reach down for those heels coming into full camel. Some people can reach the floor. Let's see. Oh, I actually did it today. I can't usually go that far. Um, but it's always that, that, you know, how do you feel? My hands touch the floor. That's a rare one for me. It didn't feel good. Didn't want to stay there. So find the place that feels good to you. My, my gymnast cheerleader daughters can even come down like onto their elbows. But I'm not even gonna attempt that. And then we'll bring those hands back, round up, cross the ankles, have a seat, extend the legs in front of you, oh, and start that hinge forward. So a nice counter stretch there. Hang on in that forward fold. Let me just see who came unmuted. Go. Nice. Again, if it feels good to move a little bit, if it feels good to be still. Hip stretch all the way down. Back of the hamstrings. So we've done the hamstrings already once. But I wanted to bring this in again because we just did all that chest opening and camel. So counter stretching this, but we don't have to stay here real long. And so from here, we're going to come on up. We're going to come down onto our back. If you're not comfortable coming onto your back, you can stay in the seated position. We're going to go into this four stretch, crossing an ankle over. If being on your back works for you, it really doesn't matter which leg. You do, but I'll do the right leg over the left to start. So just for anatomical purposes, I'm maybe pulling in on the left hamstring and I'm trying to press away on that right inner thigh. I don't have to interlace my hands, right? I could have one hand on my hamstring and the other hand on that inner thigh. I don't even have to have the feet lifted in the air. That left foot could be on the ground if I'm feeling pretty tight in my hips. Great place to roll your ankles, wiggle your toes. One more nice breath here. And then we'll release and switch that out. So switching legs. Oh, maybe take a nice, a nice deep breath through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. more breaths on this side. I'm going to give you a couple options for our last stretch. So you could come into more of a happy baby or a straddle. Or if you're like, oh, I just want to be more relaxed. You could come into a reclining butterfly. So they're both going to kind of get into the hips, the inner thigh region. So just finding which one your body 
wishes to have today. Maybe you want to try to do all three, like the movement. Uh, and then making your way into that butterfly. Oh. And we have officially reached the end of our time together. So I'll log you out, so don't worry about jumping up. Feel free to stay here in butterfly or happy baby. A few more breaths if you like. Feel free to take a little shavasana if you like. Thank you so much. Join Lindsay M. tonight for Yen. I will see you all back up here tomorrow. Bye, everyone.